Welcome to Everything Clover. I'm Rob. And in this session, we want to say congratulations. You've hired your staff. You've ordered your Clover POS system. Everything's all great in the world. Now, what you've got to be able to do is get the staff, the employees, the admins, the manager. You need to get them all into the Clover POS system. And how do you do that? Is it complicated? Heck no. Nothing with the Clover POS system is complicated. It's very simple. It's a matter of taking your index finger and pushing a couple buttons. So adding employees, once you've gotten your Clover POS system, is super simple. You're just going to go ahead and hit on key on employees. And then as you can see here, what we have is we have all the employees and they're designated by cool looking uh, replicas or avatars of name tags. So you got Alex Cruz with a cool signature of Alex C. It looks hand drawn. Um, if you look up here, you're going to see employees, their roles, and permissions. And we'll get into that. But let's go ahead and add a new employee. I'm going to be the new employee. Uh, my name is Robert. And we're going to put my last name as D. And then down here, we're going to click on changing this to Rob because that's the nickname. I'm going to give myself a login pin to get into Clover. And I'm going to say 1212. And email address, if needed, that's optional. And what you're going to notice is that under the permission screen, you're going to have three different categories, admin, employee, and manager. And with this, like anything else, Admin is going to give you full access to everything. From accessing the app market, to discounts, to help, all the way down to accessing transactions. If you wanted to, you can click off of that if you didn't want a particular admin or admins to have those features. Same thing with employees and or managers. Again, you may want your employees or your managers to have uh, different functions. You may want an employee to access the help menu as well as a manager, but maybe not. Maybe you want them to engage their manager and talk to them about how they um, use this system a little bit better. You can click off on that and that will make sure that they don't have access to that. So it's fairly simple. So hopefully you've seen how easy and simple it is to take the staff that you've hired and input them into the Clover POS system. Whether you have the Clover POS Mini or you have the Clover Station, both of these features and adding employees are going to be the same for both. So now that you've hired your staff and you've placed them in the Clover system, hire us. Give us a call at the number below. We will answer any questions you have in regards to the video that you've seen today or any questions about the Clover Mini or the Clover Station. But all you need to do is give us a call there and we'll make you more profitable. Have a good day, and this has been Everything Clover.